hi guys we are back to give you some actions and today is going to be more exciting because we want to do something that is uh, maybe not too regular or more too peculiar but it's something that's, uh, that's going to excite you very well we want to show you how to do possible groups and how to convert those groups to locks you wonder how possible that will be stay tuned you'll see as our first timers always we like to remind you subscribe hit the bell and leave your comment then our esteemed subscribers we say thank you and keep keep keeping on with us stay tuned and watch this out while watching you are going to get some answers to your questions so don't bother just relax and stay tuned then drop your comment we will attend to it all right back to action okay they grab now first of all we have so many ways of grabbing you can grab here you can grab here you can grab here you can grab 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 is grab you can grab anywhere in the neck whatever so but first we want to start by the arm you grab me from the and the wrist region now grab very hard okay now what we wonder how do you do you just do this you know that it's not possible for you to free. It's not possible for you to free because the grab is too hard. Now, how do you do it that will make it possible for you to free? Now, we are not converting the lock yet. We just want to free so, so that you understand that it is possible to be free. Can you see that? It's as possible as that, as simple as that. I don't, I don't think it's that possible what if um, someone more bigger okay, with muscle grabs him and the person that wants to do the defense is kind of the same person who doesn't have muscle okay how can that be okay now that question is a good one <laughs> now when we talk about your skills and your knowledge what you know and how you know it how you know to do it well the body size doesn't matter. What matters is how well do you know this technique, this skill. Now he locks up again. No matter whether the person is, is huge, fat, or whatever, and the person he's locking is slim, as far as you know the principle, the principle is this. Once you pump your Feet, your leg in front and thrust yourself like this. The grip must lose it. Guys, please try and comment. Let's hear from you guys or fans if what you've seen is so possible. Thank you. It must lose it. It doesn't matter. Okay, now let me go to the possible angle to show you that if you don't do it rightly, it can't work. It doesn't matter the size. Now, watch, grab hard. I see that. Is it not almost the same thing I, I, I did here and I escaped? Why did that one not work? Because that is not the principle. You are taking the wrong principle. Now the right principle is, is here. Okay, now hold this side. Now, when he held this side, I went here, right? Because that's the right principle, because here is open. Now, mm, can you see that? But watch this. Okay, please let me try. Let me try. Okay, try. Try. So this what this this is it. Yes. Just is it, is it strong? Put it very strong. Very let strong. Just stamp your feet in front there and cross down. Simple. Wow. It's possible. It's possible. Simple. Let me, let me check. Take it this side. Mm -hmm. Let me I want to take to the behind now. See that? Okay. So let me take yes. as simple as that. It's possible, guys. So it's all about the principle. It's not about the size. It's the principle. So that has been established. That's possible. Now, now let's convert that. Not the freeing again. Now we want to convert this grip now. Now how do you do it? There are so many ways. You can turn your hand up here and do this. Look from the 
Alright, now if you watch this group here, it's it's okay but not perfectly okay. Now why? This place is not supposed to be here. This is not supposed to handle it. It's okay. supposed to be here free or honey. Okay. It's supposed to be here. Okay. Can I see that? Okay. You see? Now watch his face. Can I see that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So that okay. is it. Okay. So that means your thumb. Your mm -hmm. thumb yes. behind. Behind. Here. Yes. Now yes, what your thumb is doing here, your thumb is doing something here, and here is doing something here. Your thumb is pressing, you know there are there are, there are muscles, muscles, veins around veins, here. Yes. So your thumb is pressing on those veins. Okay. See? Okay. That's what is shocking. And when you press, you now turn here, it now affects the wrist. Perfect. So, sorry, you guys. Have any other question? Um, I have like two questions. Okay, let's see. Um, the first question is, what if it's in the street? Okay. Yes. Can you can you really make it more more faster and and and, and more possible? Okay. It is. It doesn't matter where it it happens. Street, house, anywhere. Like I said, the major thing is knowing the actual principle to apply. Once you know the actual principle to apply, your speed comes, that's all. Now it grabs. Now, why I might want to slow it down a bit, because I have to be very cautious. This technique, if you go with the speed, it shocks. Can you see that? See what happens. That speed alone can free the hand, it shocks. So by the time you do this, can you see? So the speed comes when you know the principle. So whether you take it slow, of course on the street you won't take it slow. It grabs. All you do is sap at once and lock this. And with that speed, he will go down. Because if he tries to resist, he will dislocate the wrist. Please, please, sorry guys. Yes, sorry guys. I still want to ask the master now, because you know some of us, even if we practice martial arts, we may be scared of people that are more muscular. Now, what if, what if the attacker is more taller and heftier than you? It still goes back to the same answer I gave. It does not matter the size. What matters is when you know that if somebody grabs you here, this is how you do. Okay. It works whether the person is fat, slim, tall, huge. But if you do not know the principle, whether the person is slim, you can't do it. So it's all about principles. It's all about, about the principle. So once you know the principle, like the illustration we did, the same grip, the same way we tried to, you see, it didn't go. But why did it go this way? It goes this way because this is the principle to escape. And of course, when you see, he takes him off balance. Here, he's still firm. So by here, he will go. So that's the principle. Okay, so I, I want to hold you. Okay, I, mean, I want to hold him. Okay, yes. Okay. So, guys, I want to really hold him very well. Let okay. me see. All right. Okay, now. Very strong. Fine. Okay, now we go 
from the, the frame from alone. the first to the, the first second, to the second yes, one. Yes. Okay, now watch that. Let me hold it again. Let me hold it again. Hold it as hard as you can. All right. As far as I can take my leg here and move. <laughs> wow. It's possible. It's possible. Just the place of the Now we walk on the other hand, the second one. We grab again. Now I take it slowly, like so that you see that no matter how it is, it goes. You see? Can you see that? No matter how hard you're trying to hold it. Can you see that? So Perfect. it is that is how it is. Just the principles. That's what works. All right. Okay. So probably do you have more questions? Uh, All right. Question. Okay. We are going to leave you here today. We'll come your way next time. At least we've been able to to clear up some of your doubts with the, those questions. Most some of those questions you may have had them in mind to ask to drop in the comment section, but they've already been taken care of. So, but if you still think you have more, you can see drop. We'll still attend to it. So stay tuned with us next time as we come your way first timers please do always do well to subscribe hit the bell then our already esteemed subscribers we say thumbs up thank you as we come your way next time all right